What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Sweets in a Boat, a YouTube channel about fixing, driving and enjoying a boat in Stockholm Archipelago. Today I'm installing a rudder angle system so that I know how my stern drives are situated whenever I'm out in a mooring situation. I'm going to show you how I did the brackets, ran the cables and got the job done. Something like that. Here I have a rudder angle sensor that I'm going to find a location for. Right guys, here is the uh, stern drive on the port side, the steering column. Got the linkage here from the power steering system on the starboard engine uh, and here i went to uh, connect my uh, rudder angled sensor it's going to require uh, building some brackets putting this in place and being able to uh, follow that motion i think i'm going to make a little bracket stainless steel plate can bolt to those and then have some sort of uh, linkage down to this one and hopefully it will be rigid enough to give me an accurate measurement. I think it's the best option. So now I need to uh, construct a bracket. Make some sort of mock-up, which I'm gonna try now with some cardboard. Uh, so another thing to consider is uh, attaching or installing the gauge uh, in my uh, helm over there. I'm gonna take a look at that later. And I'm happy I found the uh, color that actually matched uh, what I have on my helm today. I uh, bought this from Wish in China uh, for 30 bucks. Uh, usually uh, systems like this in my market go like 200 to 300 uh, dollars. So um, not really high expectations. I tested it a little bit in my test bench at home. Uh, but and, uh, you know, 30 bucks, uh, willing to gamble it, you know? So um, let's have a look at the helm. So I got my rudder angle indicator here and I got to find a spot for it. Uh, usually when you use this, it's in the, like maneuvering in close quarters. So I was thinking I'm having it pretty close to my throttle controls so I can see how my stern drives are positioned when I go into uh, a mooring or docking situation uh, in windy conditions and close quarters where, sh where this uh, system will be most uh, helpful. So let's have a look at that. Uh, also one thing to consider is how the cable management, how to draw my cables and attach those in a simple and nice way. Um, so what I'm going to do actually, yeah, I think I'm going to remove the compass here and uh, take a look. How it looks underneath. Things pouring a little bit today. I'm gonna do that bracket. Um, gonna check out some uh, measurements, uh, get some cables. Um, just keep on going, right? Make this boat perfect. Right guys, so I'm uh, back in the workshop. I have my little cardboard uh, thing here to, uh, and I made a mock-up for how I want to mount that uh, sensor for the uh, rudder angle system. Uh, so what we're gonna do that is translate that to, I uh, got a piece of sheet metal here, uh, 1.5 millimeters stainless steel plate. Uh, I'm gonna transfer the uh, pattern, drill some of the holes, bend this, and uh, measure it, test it, and then uh, polish it, make it look good and ready for install.
right guys made my bracket for my uh, sending unit uh, I'm gonna try it out now see how it fits if it doesn't fit I'm gonna make some adjustments and then we'll install it right let's see if it fits well fortunately I'm a couple of millimeters off so I need to move these holes a little bit and hopefully get it centered anyway sending uh, rudder angle sending unit moves nice and freely now it's time to uh, put a bracket down here and I've made a bracket yesterday I'm gonna show you guys right now so this is my uh, bracket so in between here is the uh, rudder angle standing unit and underneath I will attach uh, this one and these two will be uh, joined together to create one bracket uh, to this approach to be able to optimize the length of this uh, bracket I'm gonna put some uh, Loctite Right guys, so I measured out the uh, bracket, uh, don't know how much you can see, this is the upper part, lower part, and clamped it together, now we can drill some holes and screw it together, so let's do that, get some back, put some uh, thread locker into the bottom nut, put this one there, and I dropped it out. Right guys, found the nut. Was uh, took a couple of minutes to retrieve it. Hopefully, I won't drop it again. Yeah, okay, got it. Snug it up. Like that. Right guys, gonna turn the uh, stern drives from side to side and see what happens here. All right, it's a brand new day. Back in the boat, yesterday I put in the bracket for the steering and ascending unit for the rudder angle sensor. Today I'm at the helm, um, I'm going to try to explore how to um, connect it to all. So I'm going to connect it to the ignition and I'm going to connect it to also the um, light for, background light for the instrument. So let's start doing that and start getting access to all the panels.
that's it for this uh, episode. I'm super happy with that rudder uh, angled sensor. Now I'm being able to see how my stern drives are situated when I'm going and dock in my slip. Right, guys, please subscribe and hit that notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you soon again.